776 Commerce, number 814. Engine 1, with an ambulance. 776 Commerce. Determine the engine arriving. 120. Signal 111 for engines 1, 4, 6, and 8. Truck 1, truck 2, rescue 4, 9, 1, 1, Look, listen, feel. 901. Patient is not breathing. Call for spinal immobilization based on the mechanism of injury. Band that patient, Mr. Peterson. Don't just stand there. Reach for the BVM. Somebody did it. Unpack the cylinders. Give that patient two, that patient two breaths. Bilateral chest expansion. Bilateral air entry. Somebody quickly check the patient's pulses to see if the patient has a pulse. Bilateral chest expansion. Bilateral air entry. Somebody quickly check the patient's pulses to see if the patient has a pulse. The patient has a pulse. The patient is not breathing. Perform rescue breaths. One breath every five seconds. Let me hear that. No, it's breathe. One and two and three and four and five. Spine board. Patient needs to get on the spine board. Watch your back. Watch your back. Okay. Get the head back up. Um, you should be down on your knee, head, in, head and neck stabilization. Get ready to perform the log roll. The body is not in place. Put the cylinder to lay down for me. Let's go, let's go, V-Rolls. Turn, and still, and still, not still. Turn. Okay, continue. You're on to circulation. Check the pulses. The patient has no radial pulse. The patient check carotid pulse. The patient has no carotid pulse. The patient is in traumatic cardiac arrest. Compressor. The patient is in traumatic cardiac arrest. Patients to how many breaths? Get cardiac prepared. Get the AED prepared. Um, Miss um, Sylvester, let um, Lizzie prep that, prep the defibrillator. The, the, the because the patient is in traumatic cardiac arrest. No, no, yeah, use the thigh. Continue CPL. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go with the AD. Mr. Pearson, I need you down here. Disability, Mr. Peterson. Disability. One neck, two eyes. Request for sports abilities. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Continue. Okay, patient is unresponsive, that's why you cannot do that. Wait a minute, why does the cardiac monitor, why is the cardiac monitor showing a rhythm? Continue CPR. Continue compressions. Analyzing, analyzing, the aid is analyzing, analyzing. Back up. Clear all um, clear. No, no, no. Clear at the head, clear at the foot, clear all around. Take off the cylinder because you're going to deliver electricity. Shock advice. Shock advice. 
Somebody say, clear out the head, clear out the foot, clear all around. All you have to do is say, clear out the foot, clear all around. Push flashing button to deliver shock. Push fla flashing button to deliver shock. Just push flashing button to deliver shock. Analyze and stand clear. Clear the foot, clear all around. Check for signs of circulation. Check breathing. Airway, 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 check breathing. Look, listen and feel. Patient is still not breathing. Respiration, respirator, two breaths. Two breaths, two breaths, let's go. Check circulation, check pulse. Check quality pulse because you've already done two, two sets of compression. Patient, you don't just check pulse and get up and go away. You check pulse and you say, patient has no pulse, resume CPR. Resume CPR. At this point, you can now place the cardiac monitor. Try to place the cardiac monitor between the patient's legs. Um, did you all realize that you all put that patient upside down on that stretcher? Lift the spine board and turn and turn the stretcher around, people. That's a big blunder. You would have discovered that you would have been putting that stretcher in the ambulance and it would not fit. Just lift the spine board. Somebody turn the stretcher. Watch the wires. Yes, long time. That's the kind of mistakes that you're, weak, you're going to be taught not to do. That cylinder goes at the foot rack. There's a foot rack for the... Yes. Just make sure you don't shift it. You have placed it and then the cardiac monitor goes between the patient's legs. Bring the, the stretcher closer to the ambulance. Bring it closer to the ambulance and place the cardiac monitor between the patient's legs. Yes, some, for some people. Start putting the spider straps. Continue the compressions. Continue the compressions. Two hand 
because you never thought to visit compression before. Okay, disconnect the um, power supply distribution from what right from where you are. Cylinder, make sure that cylinder doesn't slip, it's not held in place. You have to pull, pull right no, down from down there the pull handle, right pull the handle, yes, and elevate, no, don't elevate, that. elevate. Good, make sure you hold that cylinder, wheel towards the back of the ambulance. The compressor, stand on the rail and continue your compression. <laughs> You can stop your compression. Get ready to load that in the ambulance. Start putting your kit inside the unit. Get ready to load. Remember the, the wheels in the back must Pull the handle good. Get it in there, get it in there. Um, Mr. Peterson, turn on the light. In the front. Turn on the light, the switch, light switch. In the front. Something in front there, Barry. Make sure your hand don't get squashed. Not that light, Mr. Peterson, the dome in the center of the, um, the, the back of the ambulance. Watch the metal thing behind your back. Eh? 